Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. This is the Dark Decider Auto Rifle. It's the new Iron Banner Arc Rapid Fire Frame Auto Rifle that you can get this week from Lord Saladin by doing Iron Banner, grabbing this up. So, I'm going to talk about some god rolls. I'm going to pick out some things, show you what I like on the gun, and I'll show you the perks that the community likes on the gun. We're just going to talk all about the Dark Decider. And this is a uh, this is an auto rifle that I'm going to be into horde. I'm going to be into this a lot. So, like I said, Dark Decider... 720 RPM rapid fire frame, so it's got deep ammo reserves. Slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. Uh, it is a Vice auto rifle, so it comes with a Vice Stinger Origin trait, which means damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming, at, aiming down sights. Vice Stinger happens a lot and it's really good. Skulking Wolf is the other origin trait that will come on it. This is the Iron Banner one. While at low health, Guardian final blows with this weapon grant enhanced radar and remove you from opposing radar. It's an Iron Banner trait, it's 10 second duration. I don't really care for it. Vice Stinger to me is much, much better. And honestly, what are you going to be using this in? Iron Banner or PvE? Because I think it's going to be PvE. Uh, because it is Arc, it is Fast Fire, it is Vice. You could run this and a Vice Primary. You could run the uh, Prolonged Engagement as a Stasis Primary. This would be your Arc Secondary. Ooh, I like it. Or, you know, all sorts of different options. But it's got pretty... Pretty high aim assist, but I think for an auto rifle, it doesn't really matter. Good reload speed, bad handling. It's not bad, but it's not great. Stability is actually really good, and I'm actually happy about that, because these high RPM auto rifles typically are hard to handle if they're not controlled very well. Uh, damage falloff is very short, though. I think that's because it's a high RPM auto rifle. It kind of, I think it's going to sit between SMG and auto rifle. So if you like running SMGs, but you want a little bit more ammo, this may be what you're looking for. Now the perks you can get in the first column, auto loading holster, offhand strike, subsistence, dynamic sway reduction, iron grip, the iron banner perk, and a well-rounded are uh, pretty nice. Second column you can get volt shot, I like it. Gut shot straight, iron reach, gold tricorn, dragonfly, and range finder. We talked about the two origin traits that you can get. Barrel and mag perks are what you would expect. This is the first god roll I have for you for the dark cider. Arrowhead break, accurized rounds, subsistence, Golden Tricorn, we'll talk about that second perk in a minute. Vice Stinger, backup mag and a reload speed masterwork. Now, subsistence with reload speed is the masterwork. Not always recommended. You could go handling if you really wanted to, but I like reload speed on my auto rifles in case subsistence isn't working out all the time. But one of the things I think is interesting on this one as far as PvE goes is you could trade out Golden Tricorn for Dragonfly. You could trade it out for Volt Shot. Uh, and you're going to be doing just as well. I like Golden Tricorn because it is a multi-subclass usable perk. Volt Shot, you're more locked into running Arc, even though it's not an Arc requirement. I feel like if I'm running Volt Shot, I want to run an Arc subclass. Golden Tricorn works with all the subclasses, so if you get a kill, it gives you bonus damage, but if you hit something with a grenade or a melee and get a kill, you get 50% bonus damage for 10 seconds. It's a lot of damage if you could get it working. So I would think with something like the Dark Decider, especially since it's Arc, you run uh, a Titan with a melee or some sort of uh, grenade situation. I'm seeing my, my Peregrine Greaves taking an enemy out and then going ham with this with Golden Tricorn and Subsistence on all the ads. And just giggling my face off as Vice Stinger and Subsistence just don't let the ammo end at all. Uh, Airhead Break and Accurized Rounds are just to help out with the, uh, the damage fall off and the recoil direction because it's pretty bad. But uh, everything else is just pure damage output and getting bullets in the mag. So I like backup mag for getting bullets in the mag and reload speed when you need the reload. So I feel like that's a good one. There's other options you can go for. I can understand, but I feel like subsistence for PvE is definitely going to be the choice in that column. Now, this is my more PvP-focused Dark Decider God Roll, the Rapid Fire Frame Arc Iron Banner Auto Rifle from Vice. Arrowhead Break, Accurized Rounds, Dynamic Sway Reduction, Range Finder, Vice Stinger Origin Trait, Counterbalance Stock, and a Range Masterwork. I went with Counterbalance Stock and Arrowhead Break because if you don't have those, it is a 43 recoil direction. That is not going to work. It's got decent stability, but that recoil direction is out of control. So I, I wanted to make sure I had two perks to help out that recoil direction because it, <laughs> it needs some help. Uh, range Masterwork for the range bonus. It's not going to have great range. It's going to have okay range from what it looks like on the damage falloff. But, you know, more is always better, and the dynamic sway reduction is going to get that stability in nice and tight. So DSR with range finder, with a range master work, accurized rounds, pushing the range out as far as you can go with the stability as high as you can get on the gun. 
Uh, you could go for a little bit more stability, but you would lose range. So I'm thinking as far as PvP goes, if you want the range, you don't want to skimp on the stability too. So get as much as you can of both. As far as I am concerned, that's what I like. And this one in PvP, I'm... I don't know if I would use it, but I want the roll, and if I get the roll, I will use it. Now, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm a little bit more focused on PV PvE with this one for the Dark Decider, but this is what the community is looking at as far as the perks go on the gun. It is not live as of the recording of this video, so I can't tell you what everybody's actually choosing. But uh, Arrowhead Break Flared Magwell seems to be the choice for everything. Uh, the blue items are what's PvE, so that's a Pendant Mag, Tactical Mag, Subsistence, Volt Shot, Golden Tricorn, Dragonfly. PvP, people want to do accurized rounds, iron grip, dynamic save reduction, iron reach, and range finder. I did think about building out an iron grip, iron reach, dark decider. The reload speed would be hot garbage. Be the hottest garbage. But if you push it out with airhead break, accurized rounds, the vice stinger with a range masterwork, you get almost 30 meters of damage fall off. And you throw on... Let's get weird with it. Let's go... Uh, I don't know, I kind of want to go counterbalance stock again to get that recoil direction manageable. Stability is taking a hit. Handling's going up. Really, we don't want the handling to go up, but I think that's a combination. What's pushing handling up? That's arrowhead break pushing handling up. Can we get anything to push stability? Let's do fluted. Yeah, let's do fluted. Fluted, I think, will do more, more, more good. More gooder. Let's see if we can find another stability. We can do polygonal. Polygonal seems good. Ooh, chambered. Chambered compensator. Put it in there. I like that. That'll be a good time. This chambered compensator is going to be stability and recoil directions, whereas airhead break gives you recoil direction handling. Eh, I mean, yeah, bounce around. See what you can get. But uh, it'd be an interesting one right there with a lot of range and some interesting perks between iron grip and iron reach. I wonder how laser beamy that would be. If you get it, let me know. I'm interested to see, but this is the Dark Decider. I am Death from Above. Let me know in the comments what you're running, what you like, and how Iron Banner you're going to be this week. And I will see you there. See you bye. Why you got to be weird about it, bro? Chat? Video? Website? Why you got to be weird about it? I feel like this gun's being weird about it. I don't think the damage falloff is accurate. That looks, that's worse than SMG damage falloff, but it, Maybe right, I don't know. It's a pretty, it's, a, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just sit here and scratch my head and intro the video. Chat, in the last video, the one for Gnor's Axe that I don't know if I put up before or after this one, did you find it? Did you find it? Did you locate the thing and then put it in the comments? You should on this one. Find the thing, put it in the comments, and let me know when it happened. If you can find it, you will win the prize. And the prize is very much worth winning. So, hope you find it. Let me know in the comments where it was, and we'll be golden. So good luck to you all. The prize will be very nice, and the mystery will be a mystery. Sub to death from above. Will Dak get a dub death from above? So that some mans. Will he get a hit? Find out next time on stream.